So, Mr. Uh, King of Breakfast has made it to the hell of pilgrimage of uh, uh, veterans, and he is ready to run circles around. Greetings and salutations. I have made the pilgrimage from the Hall of Veterans as George Washington once fought to the devil with dying breath for the rights. Lawyers here. And dictate terms to me, you rogue. For the law is a light on a hill. Edward. What a sad and fortuitous day. You chained to that table and me no, I, I'm, I'm not in cups. chained in thought if not action at the mercy of a cold and venal i i, I didn't do this no thing no there. don't tell me the establishment has ears everywhere we'll shake your head in the affirmative for the letter or letters that best describes your status sorry i, I shake my head yes Let's say for the purposes of the cameras that are no doubt watching, that a negative shake side to side shall in this case be a positive affirmation. Remember, only shake once. G. Or. NG. Yeah, he's trying. Well, Carl thinks all that's taken care of, just like that. And now he's on his way to go talk to the judge, or so he thinks, when he's stopped by Bear Gerhardt and the Gerhardt men. Held without charges, even better. Then I shall have to tell his honor to boost my clients. You've shackled him under. Hey, you're not driving, are you? My choices outside this building are none of you. But no, Sonny Valley me here tonight. But now... Now I must bid you all adieu and admonish you to watch your proverbial butts, for I shall be back with the sledgehammer of justice, prepared to lay Joseph waste to these four walls. If you so much as touch a hair on my clients. We got Sonny Hodden. Oh, nothing like a good old fashioned stare down. Here we go though. So now uh, we got a really mad, irritated bear. He wants to. He wants Charlie because you know Floyd gave him the instructions. That's also his son, and uh, so he thinks you know this uh, little fear tactic attempt is gonna be the thing that actually gets Charlie out. But Lou sees all this, puts some things together, gets uh, you know. He, he he's like, hey, uh, why don't you go and be this boy's lawyer and everything. Maybe he really is a lawyer. I don't. Maybe he really is Charlie's lawyer. I really don't know. But I feel like this was more for a show and act, just to get, um, you know, Bear to calm down. The Jack Boots are upon him. Carl. The Jack Boots are upon us. Deputy Bluth, I need you to lock the back door. Do it now. Garfield, kill the lights in back. Denise, get on the horn to HQ. Tell him we needed every man available yesterday. There's a lynching party outside. Shouldn't call the sheriff first? So you can try, but somehow I don't think he'll answer. If he does, tell him not to do anything heroic until reinforcements arrive. You okay there, counselor? It's possible I soiled myself. This kind of thing didn't work in Westerns, and it's not going to work tonight. We got enough men and guns to hold you off till morning. Maybe I got a trunk full of dynamite. Roll my way in. Either way, you got less than five minutes to send my Charlie out. Man, Lou's a brave character. He's had a lot of standoffs this season. Um, once at the Earhart house, and then in the same episode, he uh, seen Mike Milligan and the Kitchen Brothers. <sighs> so uh, right now, he has seen this. He's uh, putting. He's got the idea. He's going to talk to Carl, and he's going to ask Carl, "Hey, be this kid's lawyer." But before all that, I want to just make this little uh, note. I thought it was really cool. Uh, he mentioned something about like busting up light bulbs. You got any light bulbs? Light bulbs? I want you to take all the light bulbs we got, smash them up by the back doors and windows. That way we can hear them if they try to sneak in. Whereas I stared down Chiang Kai shek That. And I need someone who can talk some sense into the father. Who better than his son's lawyer? Don't 
always represent the sun when we do now, Carl. I'm walking you out of here. Am I released then? Uh, let's call it Cut to, we have Lou and Ed sneaking out the back. Carl meets Charlie. You see Hank, he has woke up and his dispatcher has like been trying to get a hold of him for I'm not sure how long, but uh, she kind of informs him about everything that's going on. Yeah, Denise, I'm here. Uh, I like this line, I think it's Tell funny. Luda, sit tight. Can't have him getting killed without me. Never hear the end of it at dinner. Good day, poor Hank. He, he's gotten... Oh, he looks rough. So, uh, cut to now. We see um, Earl Weathers coming out. And he's uh, going to talk to Bear. While this is going on, cut to, we also see a little bit of uh, Lou and Bear. I mean, uh, Lou and Ed sneaking out from the back of the Rock County Sheriff's Office, I guess, onto a van. And I think I couldn't, I can or cannot tell if Hansi sees or seeing him or doesn't see him. Either way, I guess maybe he didn't want to shoot his gun to like you know, to cause a uh, disturbance or whatever because he knows like some high stakes are going on. I don't know. Hold on now, we're allies. Like Ho Chi Minh and the Red Chinese. I'm in the air. son's attorney. the constabulary at the highest level and yes witness puts a gun in his hand with a shot fired but it's a miss you understand a miss so even if they convict him it's attempted at best the maximum is 10 years he's out in five for good behavior done but this Again, I want to say you can really feel the characters. Bear's really seeing logic here and reason. He knows this isn't the best path for Charlie, and he wants to do what's right. But at the same time, he doesn't want to be made to look dumb or small in front of his men. A very pivotal scene. Leave now. Take your men, and none of this falls on the kid. This is the deal I made. He stays clean. But you gotta go. Now. Maybe we leave Charlie. Let's take the butcher. Well, now, that's a problem. See, any movement there and they loop the kid in, make him an accomplice. Kidnapping, conspiracy to commit murder, assaulting a police officer, or worse. So, we're back to the best thing for the kid being a fast retreat on your part. That's the clearest path of victory for you. Think about it. He's only 17.
Air holds back. That was probably really hard. Now Carl looks like he's about to cry, which I would too if I was him. Lou, he looks so excited when he finally sees uh, Hank's uh, patrol car there. And then uh, I, I guess we see wheels turn the motion for Ed and he just, just takes off. Christ, man, you look worse than me. You smell better, maybe. No, yeah. don't, don't tire yourself. You know where he's headed. Maybe you drive. I'm. I'm seeing double. Who's that in the woods? Oh, it's Hansi. And he is on his way to Ed and Peggy. Don't tire yourself out. We know where he's headed. Oh, man. You got you to gotta feel for Hank and you got to feel for Lou. Feel for Ed, Peggy, all these characters. Even Dodd getting shocked in the chest. All right. Uh, that was my first complete i believe full fargo episode because this one was 45 minutes long and it felt like i was able to do that i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it wasn't too uh painful extrusion <laughs> you enjoyed this and if you did please like and subscribe if you haven't already um and join the green light cinema thing my group on facebook thank you guys for watching my review for fargo episode 6 season 2 stay tuned for fargo Episode 7, I'm going to have to break it up into parts because that's the only way YouTube will let me share these videos. Thank you for joining. Bye. Maiden Stare, Virginia.